All right, guys, we are here at store number one today. And as you can see, we got a bunch of ETBs from the base set Scarlet and Violet, and of course the newer Paldea Evolve. Uh, they've got also some Shaman and Glaceon. Now, what's cool about the Shaman boxes is they finally now dropped it to almost $30 now, guys. That is a great deal, $30. So might pick up one, we'll see. And of course, they got some Cyclozar, the new tins. Um, the only thing Crown Zenith wise we see is the more Pico boxes again not worth it at $45 um, and of course a bunch of baseball and sports cards stuff like that really good find so far so we'll try to find something here and uh, we'll go to the next door but let's go to the toys first guys so stand by 12 seconds later all right we're here in toys and uh, good finds actually because they've got the uh, blister boosters there with the promo cards uh, haven't seen the mystery power box in a long time um, some people have been telling me those are actually good to get because they have been seeing the uh, older Pokemon sets from those. And then the Lucario boxes, you see some there and one there. And a couple of Zorark boxes on the bottom there, so not too bad with a couple pop-up tins. Uh, wow, a Brilliant Stars ETB and Astral Radiance ETB, so quite a bit of good finds, guys. So um, we're going to get what we want here at the first store and we'll head to the next door. So on to the second store, fam. 20 minutes later. All right, guys, we're here at the second store. Uh, more Paldea, as you can see, with single packs and uh, a ton of Cyclozar uh, with a ton of Glaceon and Leafeon boxes. Oh my gosh. Um, that's pretty much it, other than the ETB there. So, guys, we're going to look in toys real quick, see what they got, then go to one more store, guys. So, stand by. 12 seconds later. All right, guys, so toys has some stuff again, too. Uh, how about a ton of EX10s here? Uh, with the Miradon and the Koraidon uh, legendaries. One Glade tin there. That's about it other than toys with the Pokeballs and stuff like that. So guys, uh, we're gonna go to one more store now. So on to the final store, fam. A few moments later. All right, last store of the day, guys. And as you can see, they got a whole bunch of stuff. Silver Tempest, which might, might get a um, bunch of tins here, bunch of boxes, maybe QEX boxes. Good to see those again. Bunch of ETBs, especially Crown Xanus. Oh, that's tempting as well. Um, other than that, really nothing much here. Um, the new single packs here as well. So guys, we're gonna go to toys real quick, see what they got, and then open up some product. 12 seconds later. All right guys, we're here in toys, and uh, quite a bit of things with tins and Pokeballs, and look at the stack of Lucario's down there. That is a giant stack of Lucario's there. A couple ETBs again with the Brilliant Stars and Astral, really good finds, including the Lunchbox tins too. That's the first we've seen today. Um, but other than that, guys, I think this was very successful. Again, just unfortunately no Crown Zant other than those tins, but I rather have the Zachi and the Zamazenta boxes. So guys, we're gonna head back to my place and open up some product. Eventually. All right, guys, we're about to get into the pack opening, but before we start, since I recorded this a couple days ago, unfortunately I lost the audio on all my recordings for this pack opening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be the narrator from here on out. I'm gonna be voiceovering my own footage. I think I've done this in the past over a year ago. Uh, equipment malfunctions can happen at times and I apologize for that but guys I'm not gonna let that alarm me and I hope it doesn't alarm you guys because it's some good pack opening action so guys sit back relax enjoy it and here we go all right guys so since I'm narrating for this week's vlog and pack opening again I apologize for not having the audio on for some reason I had technical difficulties but what you see here is we picked up quite a bit of product uh, we're starting off with a V-Star box, it looks like, of the Lucario V-Stars, uh, which gives you two Fusion Strikes and, of course, two of the Lost Origin Packs. We're still trying to chase a Mew V-Max Alt Art out of this set. Um, though, granted, I think Fusion Strike has gotten better as of late since that incident like what over two months ago guys if you guys know what i'm talking about with pokemon world and a guy that tried to sell a bunch of cards of the same rarities yeah i feel like the pull rates have gotten better so <clears throat> but anyways as you saw that was a pack error it was a white code card and we somehow pulled an Italian v max so that was a really really good start to the box opening uh first pack magic as they call it uh yeah, surprise me. Lucario boxes are very pack error-ish. 
the code cards for some reason do not face the proper way that regular packs are supposed to be facing and every time i've opened fusion strike it seems like if you get a white code card it's the total opposite and same with the black code card as you can see and also these packs are so bad to open i i just don't understand what they did uh when they were thinking of doing these reprints but they kind of reprinted these things wrong i've also noticed speaking of printing wrong the texturing on the cards seem a little weirder to me i don't know why um it, it's like they added more color to the fusion strike and the lost origin cards but let me know in the comments if if you've ever opened these lucario boxes and uh have experienced the same issues i have in the past uh, but anyways, we're going into the Lost Origin pack. Since we got a great start on Fusion Strike, um, yeah, it, it's just it's just so weird how these packs come with the upside down codes. They shouldn't be coming like that. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and flip and skip because it is a white code card and it was a legit uh, white code card opening on that one. And then we're doing some last pack magic on this one here. And as you can see, uh, we do get, I believe, a black code card, which we do. Yep, very nice. And I believe we do get a decent hit off of this one. Um, again, we're doing the pack trick, but fortunately, I lost my audio, so you, don't, you will not know unless you see me dabbing that I got it correct. Uh, and as you can see, we pulled a full art Arizu, which was really, really nice. So not a bad box of uh lucario v star um i do not personally recommend opening it the only reason i just wanted to buy it was because uh not there wasn't any palkia boxes or dialga boxes and i don't know if those are ever going to get reprinted but uh we'll keep an eye out and i haven't even seen the uh, pikachu v star boxes um it, or the v max boxes the ones the blue boxes that come with the uh what is it the two brilliant stars and the two evolving skies boxes i think those are done i have not seen those in a month at least so now speaking of the dialga and the palkia box we did find however two zorark boxes and we're starting off with the first box here which is the chilling rain pack so you get one chilling rain pack fortunately we didn't hit here as you can see uh, we haven't opened too much Chilling Rain uh, in the, in our channel, so hopefully maybe we'll find maybe single booster packs down the road, and we'll do a live stream for that. And speaking of live streams, guys, next week, or I should say this upcoming Saturday by the time this video comes up, 8 p.m. Eastern on, I believe this is the 24th of June, we are going to rematch Astral Radiance. Um, another 144 pack opening is coming, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but anyways, going back in, we are opening Evolving Skies. It also comes with one Evolving Skies. And as you can see, white code card. So we don't get anything off of this pack here. We just flip and skip. And yes, we get the beautiful Sableye and Gorgeist rare and reverses. So then we go into Fusion Strike. Now, Fusion Strike has been good to us for the last couple weeks. Like, no joke, it has been a lot better ever since that incident where the guy, you know did the dumb thing but it is what it is and people do dumb things but we're opening fusion strike and we ended up getting yet again another black code card so we've been seeing a lot more hits lately uh really good hits uh for the last few weeks in this set again let me know what you guys feel about this set in the comments i'd like to hear how your fusion strike pack openings have been going ever since that incident happened over a month ago or so um but anyways yeah we're just going right into it and did we hit? Survey says, Grips are all reverse, and we did hit. We got a Bolton V Ultra Rare. Again, not nothing desirable there for us, because we got all the Vs, we got all the V Maxes. Uh, we're just still trying to hunt for the uh, last few Ultra Rare Full Arts and uh, Rainbows, and just two Alt Arts. And that's it for that set. Now we're going into Astral Radiance. So this is the set we're going to be opening on the live stream. We got a white code card, unfortunately. So we're going to get right into it. Try to call this energy, which I did not get this energy call again. I don't think I called one energy until near the end of the, of the pack opening. It was like one of the last packs, but um, 
wasn't feeling it here and uh yeah just keep on opening keep on opening and keep on opening all right we're going into the uh next pack is what was it lost origins so two packs of lost origins coming at you we're still trying to chase that giratina alt um have not pulled it and we did a live stream on uh, uh was it 144 pack case and we didn't pull any alts that time so we're definitely also going to try to get some massive pack openings for that set in the future um but for the most part lost origin um luck wise has not been too decent for us on the channel we've actually had a little bit better luck on astral as of late but as you can see, we pulled a full art Rotom, which was a really nice hit. Unfortunately, it was something we already owned. So we definitely are going to put that in our trade binder or for future giveaways. We're going into the second pack of Lost Origin now. And uh, this first box, I think that was the only card that really saved it, um, other than pulling the Bolton. But we did get another black co-card hit. And guys, get those codes while you can. Enjoy the codes while you can. Uh, so we get a V-Star marker here. No, no point calling <laughs> the energy here. We're gonna flip, hopefully here. There we go. And uh, as you can see, just our basic cards to call out. And let's see what we get. And we end up with a Haunter Reverse, it looked like, and a uh, Dark Rye Hollow. So it's just nothing desirable here. Now the second box is, gets uh, gets really fun. This is where we start getting heaters. And uh, I think it started off of this pack here. This first chilling rain pack, we get a hit. And uh, this was definitely an awesome box and I can't wait to show you guys what we got off of this one. So we're flipping and skipping again, trying to call an energy, which we did not. And here we go guys, and let's see what we end up. into a VMAX Calyrex. That was a nice pull. I haven't seen a big hit like that in Chilling Rain for quite some time, so it felt really good to pull that. I think, honestly, my last hit of opening Chilling Rain, no joke, out of one of the Zorark boxes was an Altar Zero Aura. That was a really sick card we pulled. Um, so hopefully, like I said, we'll get our hands on Chilling Rains down the road, but you know, reprints are very limited right now, especially with the older Sword and Shield sets. Now, speaking of more Sword and Shield action, here we go again with some Evolving Skies. And the good news is we completed this set. We completed this set a while back. Um, we're just missing a couple reverses now for the Master set. But as you can see, we got a hit off of this one. And let's see what we end up pulling off of this pack. Reverse is going to be, looks like a flat, an apple, excuse me, apple, and, and then we got a hollow Victini. So it was just a hollow, but we hit two in a row, and we're going into the trifecta, another fusion strike. And again, fusion strike, honestly, since the reprints have come back, like heavily, uh, I've noticed a lot of hits as of late. And again, another black code card out of fusion strike. Very nice. Very nice. I know it's the luck of the draw when you buy these random boxes at uh, any retail stores, but man, did we pick some really good boxes again, and you're gonna find out here quickly. Uh, so we got a Smeargle, a Carbonaut, and we're coming into the Dark Ride, and a Gold Flaffy. That was our first secret rare right there. So beautiful hit, and I believe we did not have that card at the time. So that was a new one. As you can see, the card was very clean. No whitening. I know I did it real quick, but there was no whitening on the card. Print was clean, and we're continuing on. And like I said, this box was really good. This box was really good. We were getting a lot of hits, a lot of black code cards. And uh, we're going into Astral Radiance for the second box now. And here we go, another hit, another black code card. Very, very good deal. And we're ready to go. And again, just uh, getting our uncommons and commons out of the way real quick. And our reverse is a magneton into a hollow absol. 
So we had two hollows so far and a couple big hits. Then we go back into the Lost Origin packs. Again, our Lost Origin luck has not been too good. Um, we definitely still chasing that Giratina. But we did end up yet again with a black code card. So five black code cards out of five packs in one box is pretty good. And here comes the next one. Let's see what we end up with, guys. We ended up with a Dugon Reverse and our second secret rare, the Aerodactyl V-Star Hyper Rare or Rainbow Rare. Uh, very nice hit. Unfortunately, it was something we also had again. <laughs> Duplicates can happen, especially when you're getting closer to uh, completing sets. Uh, but that's what's why they call it the trading card game, guys. Because you can trade them off. So, definitely some trade fodder. Now, if we go into our second pack of Lost Origin, there is the white code card. That was the only white code card out of the second box. So, the second box was very fire, very fuego. And uh, let's see if maybe we can go for the perfect hit because you could still get a reverse hit out of the white code cards from the trainer galleries or a radiant. But unfortunately, we didn't. We got the Paris reverse and a Cramorant rare for that one. That was a fun box. Not gonna lie. That was honestly a 10 out of 10 box. You could pull two secret rares out of one box. That was amazing. Now we go into, looks like our Silver Tempest packs. And uh, I will say this, I did a trade card show recently. Um, I'll have the footage up in a few weeks from that one. It was in Lakeland. And uh, I did some regular trades with traders that were at the show. And we did finish up the last secret rare we need, or I should say the last alt art I needed out of the set, which was the stun tank alt. So we got all the alts in the set. Now we're just chasing the rainbow Lugia. That's the only card we're trying to chase. Now, did we get it here? No, I will spoil it right now. We do not. Verizion as a reverse and a Gardevoir as a rare. So we didn't get anything out of the first pack. And uh, yeah, as far as I know, I don't think the, the uh, Silver Tempest packs were that great. I think we only got, I believe during the time of this recording, one black code card. And I think it was the last pack. But we're going to see if we can find any reverses um, that will hit for the trainer galleries. See if we do. And unfortunately, it's just a meow stick and a mellow tick. So, and don't get me wrong, you know, there's certain card rarities that I actually appreciate, and some of the arts, even for commas, are really good from here on out. Uh, I've been loving the new arts here and there. So we're opening up our next Silver Tempest pack. As you can see, we're getting right into it. Another white code card, unfortunately. And we just still did not call an energy. As you can see, I have not dabbed at all during this opening. <laughs> uh, but yeah, with the tour, let's see what we got. Sand Dial, the Whale Lord, it was the reverse, and another sneaky for Rizion as a rare. So nothing out of that pack. We go into the LPM for Silver Tempest. And let's see, I believe this was a black code card hit. Let me see, I believe it was. If it, if it will ever come out of the pack, thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, black code card. So, but did we hit? Let's find out, did we get a big hit? Survey says, we'll find out. There was my only energy call out, by the way. That was the only time I dabbed. <laughs> I called lightning energy. Uh, so anyways, going back, we pulled, looks like a Fion as a reverse and just a hollow earth and seal stone. So really nothing there at, at all. So those four packs were duddish for us because we didn't really need anything out of that. I am still chasing reverses and all the reverses out of those four packs we already had as well. Look like So nothing for the masters. Now we go into the newest set that just recently came out, that Paldea Evolve. Now guys, I'm not, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. I'm gonna be real with you guys, okay? Now I have opened quite a bit of packs since this pack opening recording and also my last live stream. I think I was over, well over 60 packs now. I have yet to still pull an IR, an SIR, and I think the only thing out of 60 packs I pulled was a full art. I think it was the, is it, 
Giacomo. Yeah, the full art, the guy with the headphones. Yeah, I uh, that was the only full art I have pulled. Uh, but as you can see, our two reverses, nothing, and the rare slot, really just a hollow rare. Now, that's the one good thing since this set came out, guys, is the rare slot guarantees you hollows. They stopped doing non-hollow rares, and uh, I like that. I really do. I think that's good for the game. Um, however, Scarlet and Violet was really good for pull rates. You know, I got seven of seven of ten SIR pulls, but uh, as for this set, I just don't feel the pull rates. I think they were really spot on when TCG player or whoever out there was uh, recording the pack data, 5K pack openings, 8K pack openings. Yeah, I could see why certain packs are are hard to find certain things out of what your collections that is so like for example the magic carp like that's the biggest chase card right now even surprisingly over the sir eono card it, it, it's crazy but it seems like that's the one people want more than ever right now and uh that card has been going for a ridiculous amount uh since the first week of the release so we're gonna see if we can chase that magic carp I will spoil that we did not pull one in this uh, pack opening as well. And uh, as you can see, we didn't pull anything out of the first two packs. We're going into it. Let's see if maybe we can redeem. No, no on the first one. No on the second reverse. And an Ori Corio for the rare. So we're 0 for 3. <laughs> 0 for 3 of Paldea Evolved. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like booster boxes might be the best way to go. I think I do want to do a video down the road with pull rates and what the best product is to open for pull rates, especially for this set. Hey guys, let me know in the comments. Do not be shy because I love seeing your guys' comments. I, I always respond to pretty much every comment from you guys, the community. So let me know what you guys think about Paldea Evolved and uh, where it's come along since uh, the opening set of Scarlet and Violet. Because in my personal opinion, this is a good set. I think it's, it's, it's pretty good. But pull rates wise, yeah, it still needs some work. Uh, but as you can see, first reverse, nothing. Second reverse, nothing as well. And the hollow as, as pretty much nothing. But guys, thank you so much for watching my pack of movies. Again, apologize for the audio. Uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you so much for the 10,000 subscribe mark. And I will see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.